Hello everyone, in this video I am going to look at Gavis's skills, his signature item, his furniture, and his engraving. But before I do that, I want to look at um, pretty much who Gavis is. Gavis is a celestial hero, the awakened celestial hero that we have. Um, he's also an intelligence-based hero. The class is a mage, and the primary role is continuous damage. So let's go ahead and first start with the ultimate skill. Uh, we have Orders Ruling. This has a passive and an active ability. So the, with the passive ability, Gavis, Gavis has three rules. The first rule is um, Rebirth is invulnerable. No damage can be dealt during Gavis's entering to the battlefield. The second rule is Life cannot be usurped. Enemy heroes cannot harm Gavis unprovoked. And the third rule is Death is Order and Chaos. The deaths of enemy heroes must follow a certain order. And whenever Gavis's rules are violated, he gains 50 energy. Each rule can trigger this effect up to one time per second. And we have the active ability. Gavis invokes Order's Punishment, dealing 3 hits of damage for 250% of his attack rating to the enemy with the highest cumulative damage. When fighting with Eugene, he deals 3 hits of additional AoE damage for 200% of Eugene's attack rating. The scales of balance sense, the battlefield's order every 3 seconds, and Gavis's normal attacks change based on the cumulative damage dealt by both sides. If allies um, deal higher damage, the Azure bead lights up, otherwise the Orchard or Auker bead lights up. So with the Auker bead, um, normal attacks heal the weakest allied hero for 160% of his attack rating, and the Azure bead um, normal attacks deal damage to enemy hero with the highest cumulative damage for 160% of his attack rating. And with level 2, um, Augur Beat increases the defense of the weakest allied hero by 35% for 3 seconds. And the Azure Beat reduces the defense of the enemy hero with the highest cumulative damage by 35% for 3 seconds. And with level 3, with the Augur Beat, it recovers 20% lost health to the weakest allied hero. And the Azure Bead deals additional damage to the enemy hero with the highest cumulative um, damage for 20% of Gavis's max health. Cannot exceed 300% of Gavis's attack rating. So a lot is going on here. Um, a lot of um, rules here. So three rules. And he gains energy whenever the rules are violated. Also doing some damage with the active ability. And um, when you have Eugene in as well, does um, even more damage. We've seen this with double releases. They somehow link the two heroes so that it ends up um, doing even more damage or something um, like that when you have both um, heroes in the same formation. And then we have the um, beats here that change based on the cumulative damage that both sides do. So again, a lot with this ultimate skill. Let's look at the second skill. We have Wreath Birth is invulnerable. At the start of the battle, Gavis slowly descends from above and cannot be targeted. Um, damage dealt by enemies and allies is reduced by 90%. So level 2 during Gavis's entrance, when an allied hero takes damage, Gavis gains 50 energy up to 600 energy max. Level 3 after Gavis enters, the energy recovery of the enemy um, hero with the highest cumulative damage is reduced by 70% for 10 seconds. Level 4, after Gavis enters, if an allied hero's health is lower than their counterpart, they gain a shield equal to the difference in health, no lower than 350% of Gavis's attack rating, and no higher than 600% of Gavis's attack rating. If there is no enemy counterpart or the counterpart dies during Gavis's entrance, the allied hero gains a shield worth 350% of Gavis's attack rating. And we have the level 5. Um, after Gavis enters, he imposes his punishment on the enemy hero with the highest cumulative damage, causing them to lose health in three stages. Each stage of health loss is equal to 70% of the damage the enemy has dealt during Gavis's entrance. Um, can no be no lower than 300% of Gavis's attack rating and no higher than 500% of Gavis's attack rating. So that's a big um, energy or um, damage reduction there, and um, damage reduced by 90%. You'll also gain quite a bit of energy here every time an allied hero takes damage. Also reducing the enemy's um, hero with the highest cumulative damage is um, energy recovery by quite a bit as well. Also can give an allied hero a shield as well. And Gavis can punish the enemy hero with the highest cumulative damage and make them lose health as well. So overall, just like the ultimate skill, this one has quite a bit going on in here. 
Let's move on to the third skill. We have Life Cannot Be Usurped. This is a passive ability when an allied hero takes damage from an enemy hero other than the one directly opposite them. The damage is reduced by 15%. And level 2, it increases damage reduction by 30% when allied heroes take damage from an enemy other than the one directly opposite them and grants the allied hero 20 energy each time they take damage. This effect can be triggered up to 2 times every 1 second. And we have level 3, when an allied hero takes damage from an enemy hero other than the one directly opposite them, it triggers Gavis's punishment, dealing additional health loss equal to 150% of Gavis' attack rating. Each allied hero can trigger Gavis's punishment up to one time every two seconds. So reducing the, um, the damage an allied hero takes from an enemy hero that's not opposite of them. Just a little bit of um, health or damage reduction there with this one. It does increase to 30% um, though with level 2 ability. And let's look at the final skill we have. Death is Order in Chaos. This is another um, passive it looks like. After Gavis enters, he determines the order based on the enemy's cumulative damage with the highest hero ranked as first. The first enemy hero then shares 15% of damage taken by all allied heroes. And level 2, damage shared by the first enemy hero is increased by 30% and received healing is reduced by 30 points. And level 3, damage taken by the first enemy hero is increased by 50%. So it looks like increasing the damage taken by the first enemy hero or the enemy hero that has um, done the most cumulative damage here. So now I will go ahead and look at the awakening skill. Um, this is called Order's Truth. When Gavis's rules are first violated, Gavis, Gavis gains 15 magic curse points. When the first enemy dies, all allied heroes immediately recover 40% max health. Additionally, Gavis reco recovers 500 energy. So giving Gavis 15 magic pierce also can give Gavis 500 energy while also giving the allied heroes 40% um, max health. But overall seems, um, seems pretty good, I guess, for that awakening skill. And thanks to these skills here, we have actually already looked at the Cedar Tritum furniture and engraving here. Overall, it seems pretty um, unique with the um, rules that he has with the um, ultimate skill. But overall, I don't know how to um, really think of him at the moment. His skills, um, his skills, like I said, sound unique, but um, they also, I don't know if they're going to be as effective, really. Just like Vika's skill sounded unique, but then overall so far we haven't found a use for her yet. I guess we will see with some testing, but overall if um, Gavis doesn't perform very well, I wouldn't really be upset. Because we already have quite a few Awakened Heroes, especially with um, this double release. Um, they promised us only 6 Awakened Heroes, but we have uh, received 8 Awakened Heroes in this year. So yeah, they've, they've over-delivered on that. So if if Gavis doesn't perform very well, I wouldn't really be upset, to be honest. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video and you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also comment what do you think about Gavis, and there will be a video on screen that YouTube thinks he would like to watch next, so go ahead and click on that video right now. And thanks for watching.